So last night I installed the new update to OS X, the 10.9.3, uh, and today when I woke up, I found that if I go to my hard drive, I don't have my users folder. Um, I'm not. I don't recall if there's other folders in there or not, because I toggle between uh, hidden and uh, showing views. But yeah, so basically, not having the hit the um, the users folder in there actually makes it really inconvenient for other apps like Final Cut. When you want to import something, now you have the same problem. You can't get to your users folder. Very inconvenient. So there's a couple workarounds for this. So I found a couple workarounds. The two seem to be permanent. One much more extreme than the other, and then one temporary. So to the temporary fix to get the users folder back is to open up terminal and then go to the volumes and then macbook and there we see the users folder so what we're going to do is we're going to um, set the no hidden flag on the users folder to do that we type in sudo uh, that's to elevate us to super user for this command and then ch flags no hidden and then directory users and enter enter your password and there we go we see it popped back in there now the problem is once you restart the system uh, it doesn't persist I'm actually not sure why it's not persisting but um, <clears throat> there is two solutions the much more complicated and one that I don't really want to try but I assume would work is to actually boot the uh, system to reboot the computer boot into a an emergency boot prompt and then do these um, and then pretty much walk through the same command I did uh, I heard that persists but like I said it's it's a bit of work it's a bit of effort okay <clears throat> So here's the solution that'll work after the reboot. You actually have to boot into a recovery boot and then um, pretty much issue the same command that we did uh, earlier. Um, you have to chmod it. I'm not actually sure why you have to chmod it. I'm guessing it doesn't have perm correct um, execute permissions or something at that point. But um, anyway, so this supposedly persists, although I haven't tested it myself. I don't really want to because it's a fairly, uh, a fairly complicated procedure for something that should just be a bug fix that hopefully will get fixed pretty quickly. So instead, I'm going to use um, the method um, of doing pretty much what I showed you earlier, but doing it as a as an Apple script, and we're going to set that to start every time the computer starts. Okay, open up um, Apple Script Editor. Okay, just do a new document. Okay, and we're basically just going to have it do exactly what we did here. Um, it's a little bit different just because the syntax is different. So we're going to say tell application in quotes the application is terminal. New line. Do shell and then it's going to be um, pretty much the same as this except we don't need the sudo there because um, like I said the syntax is a little different we're going to actually give the user password uh, coming up here so all we're going to do is uh, ch flags no hidden and then users so it's going to execute this command when when the script executes so it's going to tell terminal to send this command um, and then we're going to need a password and this is going to be uh, your login password for OS X so we're going to execute this with administrator privileges and then we're 
is going to tell the script to end tell. Go ahead and click compile. Okay, okay. So now we're going to save this as an application. So go file, save. Change this file format here from script to application. And then we're going to save it as, I'm going to save it as show user directory. It's going to be in my applications folder. So go ahead and hit save. And close this out. So now to have this start on startup every time so that it actually um, it works when you log in instead of just every time you reboot having to rerun the script, we're going to have it automatically run um, on login. So go ahead and go to the Apple icon, System Preferences, Users and Groups, Login Items, just go Add, little plus sign, we're going to scroll down and find our, our app here, Show User Directory. Add it, you can uh, check it to make it hidden, I don't think it's going to make a difference, but it may. It may, it may pop up a window like this briefly, if not, I'm not positive though. Okay, that should be it. So let me go ahead and restart the system and verify that it works. Okay, I just rebooted and let's go ahead and take a look. And there we go. Yep, it started up perfect. Um, one little note is if uh, you start your system, you log in, and then it prompts you saying that that script needs a user password to make changes. That just means that um, when you were typing in your user password on, or when you actually made the script itself, that the um, you typed the password in wrong. So just just verify that you have that correct. Save it again. Compile it. Save it again, and uh, restart your system. It should work perfectly. Hope that helps.